So, so. can you just because um, can you explain what brain mapping is? So if I mean wow, so if I can <laughs> sorry, I know that's probably it's, just, it's a big it's a big topic. Um, pretty the the best way that I can explain it is if you have a twenty one room twenty one room mansion, right, and that's your brain. And somebody came along and mapped out every single piece of furniture, every single light bulb, every single um, pipe, every single piece of wiring in that house and told you exactly how that house was operating just based on the blueprint. So a brain mapping is a 20 minute recording of your brain wave activity. And through reading those brain waves, they're going to be able to see things like anxiety, depression. They're going to be able to see things like trauma, PTSD, um, things that are um, over firing together or neurons that are under firing. And um, speaking of which, with this compartmentalization thing, my brain is actually so compartmentalized that it was drawing power from the frontal lobe of my brain and diverting too much power to the back right part of my brain. Interesting. Which was causing my overall performance to be lower than it should be, especially at somebody my age. Yeah. So it was like finding out, you know what? The lights are not off in that part of the house, but they're really dim. Why are they so dim? Maybe we need to check the circuit breaker to see why electricity isn't flowing to that part of the house. Yeah. Kind of like how you would do maintenance on your house, yeah. doing maintenance on your brain. Exactly. That's okay. Interesting. I've, I've hadn't heard of brain. I mean, I got, maybe I've probably heard of brain mapping before. I haven't. <laughs> but, um, I'm Did still- you have our dad's brain map too? Yeah. Learned a lot. <laughs> learned, learned a lot. He's like, it makes sense now. It, no, it does. And, and that's the, the cool thing about some of these things. It's like, it's not scary unless, unless you're really scared of what's on the other side, but the answers are on the other side. Mm. And I think when you find answers, you can find peace because you're not wondering and guessing like, what's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? Or why don't I feel normal? Why don't I feel normal? Why don't I feel normal? And the more you keep asking those questions and not getting the answers, the more frustrating that becomes and you just go into the cycle, Mm. right? So once we (laughs) mapped my dad's brain, interestingly, they said his brain was like a Ferrari. (laughs) (laughs) Did you know your dad was... (laughs) The fact oh, no. <laughs> his processing speed is is higher than the speed of most people, but it would make sense, right? He can quote you scripture. He can mm-hmm. he can tell you things that nobody else on the planet could be able to tell you, just because that's how his brain works. But then there's some trauma that is causing his brain not to be able to make certain connections emotionally, mm-hmm. and and so therefore we we get the experience that we have with him, and now knowing that a lot of the things that we experienced with him growing up make a lot of sense. I'm like, oh, okay. But that gives me peace. I think that gives him peace. But then we started working on some of those networks and unbreaking some of those networks in his yeah. brain. And um, then I would pick him up and he'd be like, you know, he would start to make these connections. Like, you know, my mom never told me she loved me. Mm. And then we'd just start crying. And it was mm. like, 